For centuries, man has dreamed of flying. Early artists and inventors, including Leonardo da Vinci and Otto Lilienthal, drew sketches and even built primitive hang gliders in the effort to soar with the birds. In the 1940s, a pioneering young NASA researcher named Francis Regalo developed a new design called the flexible wing. This design was not only considered for use in the Gemini and Apollo space programs, but also spawned the birth of hang gliding as a recreational sport. In the early 1960s, astronauts in the space program returned to Earth from space using parachutes deployed from a capsule. These parachutes enabled the capsule to splash down into the ocean safely. Although this proven technology was successful, NASA planners began looking for an alternative to the re-entry parachute. Many at NASA felt that astronauts should have more control over a capsule rather than just landing in the ocean. In answer to this request, an inventive NASA researcher named Francis Rogallo suggested using his flexible wing or paraglider to complete the task. Aerodynamically, a flexible wing works like a rigid wing, uh, but structurally it, it works like a parachute. So it's that combination of a parachute-like structure with a, uh, a rigid wing aerodynamic characteristics. The paraglider idea was intriguing. Its diamond profile and flexible covering would deploy from the top of the spacecraft and would fill with air to create drag, thus reducing the speed of the spacecraft. After the wing was deployed, it was designed to keep its shape with a series of tension lines. In theory, the astronauts would then be able to steer the spacecraft and touch down on land rather than splashing down in the ocean. Unbeknownst to the NASA planners, Regalo had already been working on the flexible wing design for over 20 years. Originally, Regalo had designed the flexible wing to be a low-cost vehicle that anyone could use to fly. One of our goals was to make it possible for anybody to fly. Because I know in my case, I wanted to fly. I, I, I tried to get in the Army Air Corps and the Navy Air Corps and none of them wanted me and I thought, well, gee, many, and, and I didn't have the money to, to, to do it on, on my own. It was so expensive. And uh, so I had to find some way uh, that anybody could do it uh, with all, almost uh, no money cost, and I did. Ironically, most of the work on this wing had not been done at NASA, but by Rogallo and his wife at their home. In fact, the early models of the flexible wing were actually made from the Regalo's living room curtains. Regalo's paraglider concept was tested in wind tunnels and flight tested at NASA for over two years. But ultimately, the NASA planners decided to use the proven parachute re-entry system over the paraglider. Although NASA didn't use this idea for the space program, word began to spread about this new lightweight wing. By the early 1970s, Regalo's flexible wing had given birth to the new sport of hang gliding. Humans have wanted to fly for hundreds of years, but they just weren't able to do it. And, and now uh, anybody who wants to can do it. It's, it's simple and easy and cheap <laughs> because of our uh, invention of, the fl of flexible wings. Today, millions of people have flown hang gliders worldwide. Regalo's flexible wing has also inspired the design of paragliders, kites, and revolutionary parachutes. Regalo's flexible wing has not only proven to be reliable, inexpensive, and safe, but has allowed people to be introduced to the adventures and challenges of aviation. Mr. Regalo still hang glides on occasion off the dunes at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Coming up, we find out how NASA tests aircraft tires at over 250 miles per hour. But first, did you know that engineer Otto Lilienthal developed 18 different gliders between 1892 and 1896? Described by many as the world's first true aviator, Lilienthal's designs were used by many aviation pioneers, including the Wright brothers. Tragically, Lilienthal was killed in 1896 while flying one of his own gliders. His last words, sacrifices must be made.